Hey everybody. So here's the video I told you guys I'd make on this aircraft. Uh, a bit of a wait, but let's get to it. So it's of course as you can see the RF four E Phantom two and uh Fully upgraded molds for this kit, and uh, it's in 148 scale, and it has uh, two super decal sheets for five versions of this uh, beautiful bird. And that being one of them, Israeli, pretty cool. I like the picture of this box art. It's a uh, satin finish, though, like uh, most. Uh, Tellery box art covers are nowadays in their style, which I like. Let's move on to the side here. It shows you a picture of the decals, what to expect from them. So they're pretty big. There we go. And they don't show another one, it's like a small little instrument decal, too, but I'll show you that in a minute. And of course, as if I mentioned from the video before, I got this from my local hobby shop here around the corner for basically 23 euros. So, converted to dollars, be about 25, 26, which is okay. I mean, had I bought it all online, I probably would have paid a little bit more, especially with the shipping and all. And, uh, yeah, so, and I supported my local hobby shop, so that's always a good thing. And the guy's pretty cool there, so I buy there when I can. And then here are the other four versions. Oh, come on, focus. My goodness, with this camera. I do have an autofocus, but it doesn't seem to want to work. So, Japan, Greek, which is one of my favorites, and I might do that one. Here's a German one, and a Turkish. Okay. So, yeah, that's for the box art. I'll show you the decals and later. I did pick up the box, the bag, so I can show you guys the pieces already. So let's see, let's get to these. Got the wings here. And as you can see there, nice fine engraved panel lining. Uh, there we go. I guess that's a better angle. Light hitting all those ridges of the lines, panel lines. Get the rear stabilizers. Let me see if I can get a close up. There we go. Try and hold it as steady as I can. So, there we are. Not too shabby. Really nice, actually. those lines beautiful some flash there but yeah easily repairable real nice some more there but that's okay not a big deal down here we got oh come on there we go so nice panel lines all over 
course you can see there in the edge you're gonna have to sand it off a bit just have some flash in some areas but it looks nice though I think mm -hmm. same thing up here you can see the flash there but that's why man invented sanding sticks, right? Okay, so those are the parts on this tree. Underside, it's just basic undercarriage detail. And basic, it means like hardly any <laughs> as you can see there so and of course the mold flesh there or seams whatever you want to call those that's gonna be have to work have to be worked out too there's some one right there too but for you experts out there that should be no problem So, let's see, what kind of detail do we have under here? Nope, nothing. Okay, same thing on the stabilizers for the rear. Engrave detail, nice. Then over here. It's not bad at all. All right. Let's move on to the next piece. And now we got that underside wing half and fuselage fuselage there we go oh come on focus you almost had it every time I don't know what it is Okay, there we go. I think. Okay, let me try it this way, like I did before. Oops, sorry about that. Try to keep it steady. There we go. Okay, so you see some crisp panel lining underneath too. See that? Very nice. So you got the main uh, landing gear cover there. Latch cover for the HUD. No one along. Chris panel animal. Nice. Not too much uh, flash on this piece. You got more pieces there. And let me lift this up again. And let's see if I can get a focus. Get the instrument panel there with raised uh, details. Let me see if I can get closer. Oh, come on, work with me. There we go. So it's pretty basic. But it also gives you the options for decals, but course that doesn't really help much more okay, I think that's the rear bulkhead but I'll turn it around and find out okay, some more pieces there not really sure what those are for that looks like a cyclic stick right there that's probably for the door hinges for the main landing gear I'm not sure Landing 
your struts. Then for the ejection seats. And landing gear. Inlet valve covers or inlet covers, I guess. There you go. Okay, so that's that piece. Okay, let me bring up the other one, which is here, which is where the main pieces are at. Let me go ahead and take these out real quick. Bear with me. As I'm only using one hand. You can do it. Okay. Nice touch is having the clear parts in its own bag. So there are the clear parts. Those I will leave in the bag this time. But from what I can tell you here, looking at it with my own eyes. Parts are super clear and scratch free. Yes, indeed. Two types of canopies, front canopies. One I think is a wide version, maybe. Let me look. like it I think it looks like it's a bit wider yeah so I don't know if that's a corrected version or just for one of the different versions of the aircraft then you get all the camera lens covers head-up display and landing gear lights and all that stuff pretty sweet okay so that's that and let's go into this part string. You got your fuel tanks. And let me get a close up so you can see the panel lining detail. There we go. No, oh, I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. You can probably see my heartbeat. I'm resting my elbow on my leg, so. to move. Come on. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see some flash there. But Details okay, I guess. I'm not too familiar with the workings of these pylons here. That detail there, but to me it looks alright. Okay, got some indents here, which I'm pretty sure have to be worked out or filled in. And that's on all of them. So. Those will need some work. Then we get the main undercarriage trunk, I guess is what it's called, I'm not sure. Or bay. So, some detail, but of course it's screaming for some super detailing in there. Let me see if I can get a good angle for the panel lines to show through. Really, come on, work with me. But it has some good panel line in there, just can't pick it up. There we go. So you can see it there, kind of, sort of. So really 
find detail. Of course, it even comes with some missiles, which is cool, even though the reconnaissance versions don't use them. But hey, that's just more parts for me, for my uh, stash. So that's not bad at all. Got some pylons for the weapon stores. Then you got the main cockpit tube here. And uh, I don't need to tell you, but look at that detail. Pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> it's basic. It's just crying for some resin aftermarket parts. But I more than likely will probably try and scratch build that area. I don't know. We'll see. It's like you would have said, do or do not. There is no try. Do or do not. There is no try. Mm -hmm. Okay, you got the ejection seat sides there. Then you got your wheels. Chris moldings in there. These pylons look pretty sweet too. And then more parts for the seats. Ooh. Gotta fix that. Okay, oh yeah, here's them. the other wheel for the front. Train. that. Let's turn this around and see what other... I don't know, just the uh, wheels here. Oh yeah, and the uh, ejection seats. Yeah, some sanding there and filling. There's the injection mold. Seems there. Whatever they're called. So those gotta be fixed. Oh, yeah, and the arresting hook. Okay, so that's it for that tree. And last but not least, where it all comes down. Look at that. Nice. Some sanding on that area there, though, but that's okay. Oh, better keep my hands out. Out of the way. So I'll just scroll down, and you can see the imperfections. I mean, it's pretty clear on that video. On your screen. You can see some of the imperfections there. But the panel lining looks pretty good. And this area looks weird, like there's no panel lines at all. I wonder if that's on purpose or if they omitted some sections. Hmm. Couple fans of the engines, pretty basic, but you know, better than nothing, I guess. Some small piece details. Let me see if I can get a really good close up of this one. Come on, I know you can do it. Let me 
get a close up of it with just getting close. Will that work? Yeah, so there you go. I don't know if those holes would be to need be drilled down or just indented on the real thing. If I find out what part that is, I might just have to drill them out if I can. If that's how it goes. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. So we get the cone there. Oops. Sorry. And then punch for the camera. Covers right there. That's just for the main landing gear. Landing gear doors, there you go, two different kinds. CM pod of some type. And then what I like about this kit, it has two different kinds of uh, camera type covers, flat or the bubble type. I think that's pretty cool that they did that. Let's see if I can get a semi close up for the panel lining, which I don't even see it here. Doesn't have too much, it's in its raised, I think, from what I can see from here. Now, let me look at my handy screen and see if it captures it. But it doesn't want to cooperate. Come on. Give me some focus. I need to read my manual to see how I can focus. Oh, there we go. Well, so you can see. Okay, so there is a. raised panel in there in that area some flash too then you got your uh, refueling probe there not sure which version that one goes to my guess would be grease maybe have to look at the instructions. Oh my gosh. This autofocus thing is driving me nuts. Okay. Yeah, and there's some uh, flash, of course. Let me turn this around. Be easier. So, there we go. I guess if I hold the phone steady, it focuses just fine. But I don't have an adapter to hold it. So, hands will have to do. Okay, so now we go to the other half of the body. Let's see how many problems this one has. See, it's in this side too. No detail on that area. On that area right there. Hmm. Now to check that out. See what's up. Put the rest moving along. Okay, in that area right there. That's just the glare, but the line look is pretty good from the, my point of view from here. But it's good. So. Not too bad. 
some more details there. And now you can actually see that. Oh, I think there's some flash maybe? Or is that part of the window cover area? I think that's flash. Yeah, so those have some flash there. Too bad. Okay, I'm gonna turn this around real quick. And of course, some mold holes there. Those would need to be filled up. If you want to have these access panels open to show the interior. Pretty sure that would show us some. Get those fixed up. Okay, the cones for the exhaust. Uh, it's decent, I guess. Some flash there. You can see that on the right one, the edge. But overall, I think it's a decent kit course with some extra work It'd be a real beauty and of course the inside there good looking bird I'm glad I got it okay now let me grab the decals Okay, so oh man, I had to drop one. Okay, so this is the one that they don't show you, but let me show you this one first. Okay, so you have your instrument panels there. Really? Got those there, and I'm guessing this is for the front, and then this would be the pilot's section here, even though there's two different ones, maybe for the different birds, I'm not sure. focus we can fix that there we go okay so that's the and okay I see some differences here oops all right so that's that one sheet they didn't show in the box art but here's the rest of it it's even labeled which is pretty cool. You got your inboard pylon set area, pylon set decals there, external fuel tank, of course, your instrument panels. And then we'll go up this way external pylons. Let's see how close I can get here. LQ-119 pod there, which is probably the one that I call the ECM pod, but that's all right. And I guess this is for the A version only, which my guess is the uh, Israeli one. I'm not quite sure. That center line fuel tank. Uh, then you got your data stencil for all versions except for the D. Go right down here. Or 
try and move as slow as I can and steady so you don't lose focus and you guys can kind of see the decals. And then we have data stencil, data stencil for version D. the Greek version I think if I can reading that correctly so there's that quite a few decals there and that's one sheet now we move on to the main sheet here and then you have Version A, which is Israel. And then we have Japan, version B. Then we have version C, which would be for the German Luftwaffe. And you notice it says period of St. Louis there. <laughs> so there's that. Then you have version D which is the Greek Air Force not too much for this guy then version E which would be Turkey okay so there you have it for the decal sheets quite a lot And on to the second part, since my uh, recording time ran out. I don't know why I did that. I have to check my settings. So anyways, the last part is a manual. And I don't know if I'll do this as a separate video or if I can join this to the other one. I'll see what I can do since I never actually had to do that before. I'm sure it's not that hard. But again, I don't really deal with all these video programs and stuff. Okay, so there's a layout of the instructions, of the parts. For the shaded areas you don't use, which is the missiles there. I would guess it would be MRAM strike, I'm not sure. <sighs> oh, okay, yeah, so see there's the The other one of the cockpit fronts the front part that one's not used in some of those slides extra piece yay then those pieces are not used so there's that one and then the piece there for the cockpit that was not used Used either. Okay, so basic instructions for the seats. Pretty lame, but I guess it wouldn't matter if you put a pilot in there. I don't know. Still, though, 
pretty basic. for the cameras, okay. Ooh. Pretty basic there. Oh well, they have you put the cockpit tub later. Hmm. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, so I guess is that's for the Israeli version. Okay, then you get your camera there. Oh, so that's what those rails are for. For the cameras. So those might have to be drilled out. Make it look nicer though. If it did. Weight saving holes, I guess. Those frame arms. Hmm. Version A. That right there. And ver all the other versions. Hmm. Okay, though. The windows are different. Okay. So then there you go. As you can see, two different versions. Interesting. Cool. Then you have the landing gear installation. For the most part. And they have, yes, they ask you to cut those if you want them open, closed. Okay, I guess these versions do carry some missiles. Sub assemblies there. Then the windows there. Open or closed. Ah, yes, and there's that for version A. Oh, so it's Israel. Oh, okay. That picture's not too good. <laughs> and then you got all the common markings section here. Boy, that looks like a lot of decals. Holy moly. Man. And then the side area. All right. There we go. Okay, and then all the different versions are integrated there too. Okay, we got the bottom view. My 
goodness. It's almost intimidating. Okay, here's the instrument panel. Oh yeah, so different versions for the instrument there. Okay. Oh man, but why did they have to do that though? Okay. Maybe I'll try and scratch build my own. Now this is what I like, color markings. For the missiles, there pretty sweet fuel tank center line. Oh, that's the HGM pod. Okay, so never mind. Or well, maybe it is an electronic countermeasures pod. I don't know. So then we got the version A, which is Israel. See, I like that version too. Japan, version C, Germany. And two more versions to go. Greece. The looks like a old school Vietnam camouflage pattern there. Uh, but I lock it. Pretty sweet. And Turkish. Well, actually, this would be more like the Vietnam era camouflage colors. And this one's more dark greenish. So, yeah. Anyways, moving along. So, that's the instruction sheet. All right. Well, that concludes my unboxing video for this kit. I hope it was useful for you guys. Alrighty. Till next time.